Hello everyone. Ooh, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Let us tap right in and see what storyline Spirit would like to share with us this afternoon. Collective energy, please, Spirit. Collective energy. What storyline would you like to spirit share with the collective, please? Storyline, would you like to share? Collective, please, spirit. Collective energy, please, spirit. All right. All right. In the central energy. In the central energy, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. So somebody's working real hard. Oh, excuse me. Perhaps developing some new talent. Learning something new. Perhaps going back to school, getting a new job. In the challenge position. In the challenge position, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, a new career. Could be a challenge. Got to master it. Very diligent. In the subconscious. In the subconscious, we have the Eight of Cups. So, somebody's disappointed. Walking away. In the recent past, we've got the nine of pentacles. So there's, you're coming into the fruits of your labor. It's, um, you you could be um, starting to see some results. Maybe you're very happy with the results of uh, what you've been going on. In the intentions and expectations, Ooh, or is it divorce? Somebody's suffering. In the near future, we've got the star. You have renewed yourself. And perhaps others here in the near future. Good omens. In the lens that's being looked through. Whoa. The lens that's being looked through. So we've got a two of swords here. <clears throat> Choices. <clears throat> So there's difficult decisions made, being made. In the environment. We got the four of cups. Somebody's disconnected. They don't like what they're being offered. They're having to reevaluate. They didn't get what they wanted. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Well, we got the chariot here. Forward movement, a victory, and the outcome. Ten of Cups. Blissful relationships. Divine love. Divine love. Victory for divine love. Somebody was disconnected. They're at a crossroads. 
we've got the three of cups here. So there's a celebration, freedom, and marriage. Yay. You've done it. You've done it. Reconciliation. Long-term rewards. Justice. Forgiveness for your faith. Survive. Defense. So you were, you have a defense and you surviving here. So you're working with high standards, you're developing mastery, you could be in an apprenticeship, learning new skills. You were defended and you survived whatever this is. Perhaps the, um, the skills that you are learning is defense. Working with high standards and mastery, learning how to defend yourself, learning how to survive. So you've got some new information here for um, specific challenges. In the challenge position, you do have the Ace of Pentacles here. So there is a, it's a new career, a new opportunity. You might be um, teaching how to survive, <laughs> how to defend yourself from significant challenge that you've just been through. Wise guy. You're challenged by this wise guy. So there's a new career here. You've got a new career and you're challenged by this wise guy. You've got withdrawal here. Somebody, you're leaving something behind. Somebody's disappointed. You're walking away. You're walking away from the horseplay. There's somebody's disappointed. Their horseplay failed. You developed new skills, was able to defend yourself and survive. This wise guy. And you've come into your nine of pentacles in the recent past. So you're, you're financially stable and self-sufficient. Whoa. Okay. Well, I guess we wanted both of those cards. But where did you go? You went way over here. You've got this player is in the limelight. So you, you're you coming in to the fruits of your labor, okay? You're in a limelight position. You've got this player here who's expecting to be cut off or you're expecting to cut this person off. You, you've got the fruits of your labor um, rewards. And this player is getting cut off. They're upset here. They're confused. Love. They're getting divorced out of your love. They're getting divorced right out of your love. They're getting cut out. They betrayed you in love, this player. You've got your nine of pentacles. you got your limelight position. There is a player here that's getting cut off, divorced from love. They're getting divorced from love. There, and we got the star here in the near future. So there's rejuvenation, a healing, a renewal. Spiritual fortune. That player is getting divorced from love. Messenger. 
messenger. So there's a message here. Somebody's sending forth a message of healing and renewal. Somebody's in a deadlock. They're at a crossroads. This player got divorced from love. So they're at a crossroads. They don't know what to do. Um, they don't know what persona to take on, their personality. So they don't know what act to act now. They're at a crossroads. They're stagnated. They're weighing their options. They got to make difficult decisions. Whatever it is, whatever role they were playing, it didn't work out. And they've been disconnected here. They're not satisfied with what, what happened, with what's transpired here. Whoa, okay. So they're being haunted. Chicken. So they're going to have to be brave through a haunting. They're going to have to be brave while being haunted. You've gained a victory here. Maybe they want to win a victory over this. They got to use courage during this haunting. They've been disconnected. They've been cut off of love. There's a victory here. It could be your victory or maybe they're hoping for a victory. No, it's time for disconnect. So you've got a victory here and it's time for you to disconnect. Um, you're coming into your Ten of Cups union. So it's, it's, ooh, it's time. Ooh, it's so close. Peace. Peace. Ten of Cups, divine love. Dreams come true, blissful, peaceful relationships, partnerships, marriages, unions. For those who shine. For, their, for the original shine. Not those doppelgangers, not this explorer who is trying to pretend to be you. There's a change to the spiritual throne. And the leadership, the creative leadership that sits upon it. This tribe has been observed or this tribe. Yeah, this tribe has been observed. Um, creating drama for those people who are happy and optimistic in life. They cut them back. They shot them down purposely. And now, um, whoa, we got appearance. So we've got a visitation and an appearance of an arcana to those who as is to the peaceful people. So it looks like there's a visitation. There's going to be a visitation and an actual an appearance of an arcana to the people who are of at peace. There's going to be communication with those, uh, those who are addicted, creating conflict. Um, they're going to be made absent from the sovereign being. They're going to go away. The religion who is driving the minds of others, competing for their stuff. I guess they're wanting to say congratulations. You did it perfectly. What maintained your body or what this maintained your body when this snake was all up in your business and it was prophesied that that would happen and you would come into your evermore that was promised to you. They tried to take it away from you. Attention is brought to your purpose here and now. You're a teacher. Yep, you're a teacher. So you defended yourself, you survived, and now you're working with high standards in a new career, 
teaching people how to survive this wise guy. You have expectations of taking a seat. And those who came against you for entertainment are going in the grave. Just the way it is. You're remembering your knowledge, your, your inner wisdom. And, um, and the road that you traveled of hardship. Somebody wanted your home. You didn't do anything. And they've martyred you. These vain people. They wanted your house. This kin. You're very conscientious. And you've been forgiven for your faith. This witch just wanted your things. They wanted, to, they wanted a, an important status of privilege. So they took it from you, wholesome person. Invisibly so. You're the creator, a bohemian. They used spirits against you. They wanted to be perceived as you, a person who is here in service. A person who is innocent and takes care of themselves. They were playing both sides of the line. And there's a backstory to the labor that they've been doing, which has been causing you to self-preserve. Justice is going to be delivered on this ancestry at a hidden location or an unknown location. So, that's that. It just strikes me as so odd, you know, that people would destroy their family unit so that they could use them as a freaking stepping stool. So they, they destroy their own family so that they personally can rise. They didn't give a crap about the family tree or the generations to come. And the health of those generations and their ability to main, maintain and manage freely on their own source. Or connected to source, I should say. So you you worked really, really hard defending yourself and you survived. Somebody doesn't know what to do. It could be that this is this wise guy who's indecisive right now. Because you are in a new, in a new um, career. They don't know what to do. unsatisfied you've got a new career and this wise guy is unsatisfied you survived and they're disappointed because their horseplay did not work against you they have to walk away you have an understanding of what they've been doing You've got your nine of pentacles here. You've got re your reward, the, for the fruits of your labor. You're in a limelight position or you're seen as a giant. This player is here. Business is complete with this player. It's over. Everything is out in the light. This player, business is finished. There is a divorce. This player is getting divorced from love and those people who love. They can't be in the, in the vicinity of these people because this is a, a wise guy who dreams up ways of disrupting people's lives and love. That's their purpose, which is to destroy love. We've got, um, this came out and it flipped in the reverse. Missed opportunity in the upright. So you're divorcing this player. Business is complete with that person. And love is moving forward into a new opportunity. Into a new opportunity. 
spiritual fortune, um, a renewal. There could be a messenger coming to say something, some kind of news about renewal, about spiritual fortune, about somebody's purpose. Inseparable. You may be getting a message soon, star. Somebody may be sending you a message soon. Our love is always there despite the distance. So this personality, this player, whose business is done, you're done dealing with that. You're, they're, they're divorced out of love and now love is moving into a new opportunity, an inseparable opportunity. This player is at a crossroads. They were not able to be you and the um, games they were playing with their little roles of personalities, it failed. So it didn't work out for them. They got divorced right out of love. They made a whole bunch of mistakes. And so love is releasing them. Releasing them. Four of Cups here. Disconnected. They're getting disconnected. And they're haunted. They're going to have to be brave um, through a haunting. They're going to have to withstand it and, and get through it. They're going to have to learn how to be courageous. And, and they're going to have to learn how to defend themselves and survive. Um, same way you did. They're going to have to learn it. They're going to have to walk the walk that they made you walk. Walk the walk that they made you walk. They're feeling your absence. They will be made absent. You've gained a victory here and it's time for disconnect. They're going to go somewhere else and deal with this because um, you need to get on with your life. So this is reciprocity. The low level or the low light people, the low energy people are getting what they gave. A destiny of reciprocity. What they put out is what they're getting. They're getting disconnected from you. And they're, they could be getting the destiny <clears throat> that they had been trying to um, create for you. They got to go live that now. You're going into your Ten of Cups. Love is moving into its new opportunity of divine love. Peaceful, divine love. You're a star. We've got unappreciated. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't care about you. So you're moving on. You're moving away from those who were joking and laughing at you. Bragging about hurting you neglecting you and the responsibilities that they had promised to do. You're moving into a new chapter here. It's a new chapter. They, these third parties who were daydreaming about you, they kept secrets and now they want to escape because they're seen as a liar and they're, and, uh, they're confused. They did passion in the shadows and now they've been found unworthy of an irreplaceable reunion. They're not an irreplaceable person. So that's that. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't appreciate love. They didn't appreciate the responsibilities of family. They just wanted to go party all the time. And this is an unexpected outcome. It's too late to take any action regarding this soul tie that you are in. A runner wants to have a conversation with you. They're being held back and they're in disagreement about that. <clears throat> they're overwhelmed by the truth. And the fact that those who love themselves were able to mend the connection that they broke purposely to keep you here. So they want forgiveness. They're, they're hurting from the damage they've caused. They want forgiveness for having really crappy values. Going against your hope for divine love. Chasing after your soul contract. 
everybody's gossiping about the fact that they've been found guilty or that they are guilty and they're being detached from commitments. <clears throat> they're being divorced out of love. They're not responsible in unions. They sabotage themselves are in and, and in regret. They've got habitual patterns. They'll never change. And they're feeling broken and shattered about that. And they could be in solitary confinement. They got to go get haunted and be alone without a support. I mean, just like you, probably. All alone, no support system, shaky foundation. Nobody believes what's happening to you. You're looking like a lunatic. You got to go out there. Everybody's shunning you, walking away from you because you look freaking crazy. And you got to deal with it. Get through it. It's a lonely, lonely path that um, requires a lot of strength and courage. So you're very, you're very diligent. You mastered some techniques, some. Um, methods and modalities of defending yourself and it allowed you to survive somebody doesn't know what to do they don't they can't make a decision about you they don't know what to do because they've got a long long road ahead of them they couldn't commit to you they didn't want to commit to you they didn't want to have anything to do with you they didn't they couldn't make a decision and now they got a long long road to go before they get what they want challenge is your new career and this wise guy here is unsatisfied with the way it went down they got a long road ahead of them they're looking for an exit plan In the subconscious, we've got disappointment here, Eight of Cups, because their horseplay didn't work. It didn't work, and you gained an understanding of it. You now see it. You know what it is. You survived it. And it's not hard for you anymore. Things aren't difficult for you now. You've got your nine of pentacles. You're in a limelight. Everything that happened is out there like a giant sore thumb. Ooh, look what happened. The player business is finished. The player, whatever the player business the player had going on, it's over. Empty cup, empty vessel. Empty vessel. This player is an empty vessel and you're done doing business with them. They're getting divorced right out of love. They can't have a love contract. And love is moving on into a, a new opportunity. Look at this. This is who it is. ending love is moving on into a new opportunity and this is ending you're divorcing this player and all of their all of their team letting it go you're the star you're you're entering into renewal rejuvenation and you are in an inseparable union you may be getting a message from the person that you are um in union with spiritually Could be telepathic, could be some other way. Take it as it resonates for you. Facing it. The truth will set you free. The truth is setting you free. They got to face it. The truth is setting you free. They don't want to do. They're in a crossroads. They got difficult decisions to make. They weren't able to pull it off. They couldn't be you. They made a lot of mistakes.
Guilty. Guilty. They were lying and cheating. And now they're getting disconnected. Divorced, disconnected. They have to be brave during this haunting. And they're really feeling your absence. Or maybe they're going to be made absent. Yeah, they're absent now. They're reaching, trying to reconnect with you. You're absent. They're absent. They're reaching out, trying to reconnect. You've gained a victory here. You're moving forward. It's time to disconnect. These low um, energy people are getting reciprocation of what they did. Trying to steal your destiny. That's their destiny. They get to walk the walk that they made you walk. Crumbling. Everything is crumbling. Everything they built on your energy, star, is crumbling. You're moving on into a Ten of Cups. Divine love. Peaceful love. Moving away from those that didn't care. Those who didn't appreciate you are full of anxiety. They don't know what's happening here. They just know you're leaving. You're taking your light and your, and your love and you're going away. Those who did not appreciate you are having anxiety attacks. Burned. They got burned. They broke all their promises. They broke all their promises and they got tempted because of their needs. They got caught up in a whirlwind with these many flames, these stars, what they were playing with other people's energy. And they got themselves tangled up and now they can't release themselves just like they did to some of those flames. They're crushed about the secrets that are coming out. Freaking, it's like a, it's like a sore thumb. All their secrets are out here and they're getting put far, far away from you. You're disconnecting and they're going to be put far, far away from you. You're acting very aggressive. You want them out of your space. You want them out of your energy. They're trying to escape. They're trying to use love as an escape route. And you're like, out of here. Out of here. Everything's in ruins. It's all falling apart for them because you're leaving. And there's a drift. They're going to be drifting alone. Like chaff. With no place to settle down. No, no foundation. Nobody to walk with them through this horror. Just like you didn't have anybody to walk with you. Or support you. And now they feel like they're going under. They were playing. They lost at the game. They were playing games with love and they lost. And they got stuck in a rabbit hole in the dark side. And they're grieving, wanting your forgiveness for neglecting you. They're tired. They have no energy. Life is very, very hard. Everything is in pieces. They feel like they've been beaten. They're childish, acting childish, and struggling. Childish, rather than grow up and learn how to take care and stand on your own firmly without anybody helping you, they just went and took, 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 and laughed about it like it was great fun. And now it looks like, yay, the star gets to go away from these wise guy players. The people need to be tested is what he said. And I'll tell you, man. They get real good at being nasty. Cycle after cycle. Let's hope it's a while before we have to go through this again. If at all. Ever. <laughs> Alright, so you've learned a whole bunch of skills here. Defending yourself and surviving. 
there's a wise guy here who doesn't want to do know what to do because they got a long road ahead of them before they find what they want. You survived. <clears throat> past. In the past. So this is... This says, I still haven't gotten over what occurred in the past. And this is in the reverse. So it's like you're letting it go. You're over it. You're letting it go. You've defended yourself. You survived. And now these ones don't know what to do because they got a long road to go before they get what they want because you let him go. You let them go. You're over it. Goodbye. Sayonara. See ya. Out of here. In a new career, this wise guy is unsatisfied and looking for a exit plan. You're sitting there in a new career. It could be that you're teaching people how to defend themselves, how to survive this kind of crap. Whoa, holy smokes. What do we got here? So, growth. There could be a growth in, inside this wise guy. There's something growing inside this wise guy. They want support. They need your support. They don't want revenge. Or maybe you're not going to re seek revenge. You're not seeking revenge. You're moving on. You're letting them go. You're just moving on. You're not seeking revenge. This wise guy has a growth inside of them. They're unsatisfied. They need an exit plan and they need somebody to support them. They could be challenged by you having support. They could be challenged by you being admired for the work that you have done. And they're um, having to walk away. They're getting left behind. Them and their horseplay is getting left behind. You have an understanding of what it is they've been doing. And this isn't hard for you anymore. You're like, man, you know what's going on. It's not difficult. You're uninterested. You're like, I know what you're doing. Secret friendly. So somebody wants to come forward friendly to share a secret. Maybe this is how you gain your understanding. No, you gained your understanding by surviving the crap. But somebody wants to share a secret with you. They're coming forward with a with a perspective. They want to share a perspective. You got your nine of pentacles here. So the reward for your for what you've done here, you're it's it's standing out. Everybody can see it. It's like this big old sore thumb that everybody you're not greedy. There's no greed in you. This player is finished. They are an empty vessel. They're getting divorced from love. And love is moving on into a new opportunity. And the this crap is ending. This crap with this imposter is ending. This player, they got to face it. You have rejuvenated and renewed yourself. And you are here. <clears throat> There's a messenger <clears throat> telling uh, about um, this inseparable love. Whoever you are spiritually connected to, you are inseparable. And it's love. It's love. Somebody, um, this is entertainment. I find your life amusing and your stories comical. Somebody could be curious and intrigued by your life story. They may want to, you know, you, you got the defense, you survived. Somebody's curious and intrigued. What happened? How did you get, how did you do that? What's going on here? So there's, um, you may be a, <clears throat> you may be uh, thought of as some sort of a, legend or something there's difficult <clears throat> decisions being made by this personality this actor this pretender they made mistakes and they've been found guilty 
they want to check in and make sure everything's going well. Or maybe they have to check in to some facility because they're being haunted here. It could be that they're being haunted by your courage. You, they, they've been disconnected and they could be haunted by your courage. The fact that you're so courageous. They may have to check into some facility because of this haunting. They're feeling your absence. They're reaching, trying to connect to you in some way. Yelling. They're mad at you and they want you to feel as badly as they do. So they're reaching for you. They could be yelling in the ethers. You know, if you're feeling the energy of this kind of, you know, it could be that they're yelling, trying to um, send messages. So the chariot is here, a victory. You're moving forward. You're moving away. There's a divorce. They're cut off. They're cut off. They're disconnected. It's time for a disconnect. It's time to let it go. The star is in love itself is leaving this player empty vessel behind. We're not playing with empty vessels who would lie all the time about love. Everything is crumbling around them. Their destiny is a reciprocation of the low vibrational crap that they had buried you under they're being disconnected and they have to deal with it you're moving into a ten of cups a family a true divine family love peaceful love and those who didn't appreciate you are having anxiety they don't know what the heck man they don't get to travel with you they don't get to go where you're going they don't get to travel with you <clears throat> you're divorced they're cut off for betrayal and you're with somebody else you're disconnected from this they are very unfriendly you're not having to deal with them any anymore they're uncertain they're trying to give you unsolicited advice they want to skew your perspective they want to get something off of their chest they want to vent they're envious and they want to trick you that's all they ever do right so they want to give you a negative perspective or perhaps they have a negative perspective on you a gift to the world they may want to come forward and ask you for a big favor because you are honest and you're getting great news right they want a, a big favor a small favor whatever they want you to accept their apology There's something going through the grapevine. There's a lot of um, gossip about an obligation to gaslight you, a collaboration. So they were collaborating and obligated to deliberately manipulate your perception of reality. And that's what this game they were playing. And they were laughing about love. Or maybe love can laugh now and be positive because there's a date here, which is a safe space. Somebody wants your advice, though. Or maybe they want to give, your, give you advice and reconnect, but you're uninterested. You don't want to loan them your attention or have them to be part of your future. You just don't want it. You're going to be working a new career and you're focused on the health and well-being of people in chaos so you're making plans and your plans are welcomed and that's bad news for this tribe who was bragging about sabotaging you an empathic person and now they're desperate because you're saying goodbye you're disconnecting you're letting them go they get to walk the path that they made you walk. It's going to take a long time. Because this has been going on for a very, very, very long time. Many, many cycles. Many, many cycles. 
many, M-A-N-Y, many, M-I-N-I, cycles. This was supposed to be the big kicker, but you didn't go down like they wanted you to. And you're not seeking revenge. You don't have any malice in you, and that's why you are up here. Like, there's no malice in you. You're just doing your work, doing what's necessary to survive this thing, and you're just waiting patiently, as was requested, patience, 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 to, you know, for divine timing, <laughs> to align everything into um, what, what it needed to be in alignment with in order to make this happen. So you developed a lot of new skills. You've been working very, very diligently on survival and patience and defense. You're leaving this behind in the past. You're over it. You're over it and they don't know what to do because it's going to be a long, long road of suffering without you. You have just come off of a long, long road of suffering. You've survived it. And now you get to go help others. But these ones have to figure it out on their own, just like you did. So this is wild. What do you got here? Envy. The envious. You're leaving the envy, those who envy you, in the past. You're letting them go. They don't know what to do. They've got a long, long road before they find what they want. They won't get what they want. They will be completely unsatisfied for many, many cycles. You are here in a new career and you're not about vengeance. You don't have any malice in your heart. You don't, you're not going to seek revenge. You're not holding grudges. You're letting it go. And this wise guy has a growth or something. They're unsatisfied with, with the way this went down. They need support. They're looking for an exit plan. They want out. They, they got to get prepared for sudden changes and loneliness. They got to get prepared to be lonely, alone. They got to walk this walk alone, just like you did. So they're having to walk away. They got to go walk away. What was that? Somebody said a while back it was what do they call them when they um when they wander hobos is it a hobo who wanders but it's like they're just going to be wandering and wandering with no real place to go and there's going to be this haunting they could, they're haunted by your courage, man. They thought for sure it would take you out because they thought it was going to take them out. They, they did everything they, to you that they thought would take them out, but you overcame it. So now they're being disconnected. They got to walk away. Their horseplay didn't work. You have an understanding of what it is they've been doing. Life, it's no more, it's not difficult for you anymore. You are at peace. Or maybe it wasn't difficult for you because you are at peace. You um, were able to navigate this in a good way. And somebody's coming with, co approaching you with being friendly, but there's a secret. There, there's, there's some secret here that they want to share with you. And we got imagination in the reverse. So the player can't tap into your mind. What they imagine this to be failed. They're an empty vessel and it's over. Business is finished. You've got your nine of pentacles here. You're coming into your rewards. You're not greedy and you're in the limelight. It could be that you're having public recognition or that this is a, a big thing that everybody is aware of. So there is a change here. This player and all, the, all of these players who betrayed and were disloyal to love um, are getting divorce they're getting cut off that's the change and love is moving on into a new opportunity this is ending whatever is happening here it's ending this imposter it's over and that's the change it's ending with this imposter that's the change no more will you have to deal with this 
they got to face it. You're a star and you have regenerated and renewed yourself. You've come into a rebirth and you've got in, you're in an inseparable union here. Could be that you're getting the message soon. It could be that everybody's getting the message soon. Somebody is um, finds you your stories amusing. They're intrigued and curious about you. Inseparable union. This could be your spiritual connection. Um, in love. Eager to know you. So you may have been working in the spirit together. And now it's, it's about time for y'all to come together. And, you know, there's this great curiosity. It's like, you, you know, you know each other in the spirit. But it's like, you know... What are you going to do when you actually show up in the 3D, right? So there's difficult decisions to make uh, for this personality, for this actor. They made mistakes and they've been found guilty. They want to check in or maybe they're having to check in to some facility. They're in grief. They're in grief because they've been found guilty. They got to check in. They've been disconnected from you. They're haunted by your courage. They're feeling your absence. They really want to reach out and reconnect with you. There could be yelling. They may be fighting with people about this. They want you to feel bad. So they, they're reaching out so that they can, what, make you feel bad? Offload onto you. They want to offload whatever this heavy burden is that they're carrying. We've got discipline. They could be yelling about your discipline. They could be mad because you can accomplish whatever you set your mind to. They didn't see that in you. You've gained a victory and it's time to disconnect from these destiny thieves. Um, they're going to get reciprocation of exactly what they put out there. They lied and everything is crumbling. Look, we've got guilt again. They lied on everything and everything that they built is crumbling because it wasn't theirs. It was, it was an illusion. It was stolen wealth and status. It was a, it was a mind game. It was a mind game. So they can't blame you and there's no doubt about it. They can't blame you, and there's no doubt about it. Your person, um, spirit, the most high, here is causing this separation between those who um, use love and those who wish to support love and be love. So you're moving into your Ten of Cups. You're a being of peace. And those who didn't appreciate you are full of anxiety right now because they can't travel with you. And you're grateful for that. Um, you're laughing about the adversity or somebody is. You, you um, what is this humor card? I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. You chose to focus on the lighter side of life when you were undergoing all of this adversity. You remained true and you remained a being of service. You feel good when you can help others. And you may not be able to expect the truth out, out from others, but you can always expect it from yourself. And you never altered who you are at the core. These ones need to surrender their need to control you because you persevered and you have grown in consciousness and awareness. You're an empathic person. You're open to seeing both sides of a situation. You care about others and you're attracted to relationships that serve the higher good. Okay, balanced, successful because you know that there is no greater goal than to love. And those that are of, oh, okay, the prideful people, it looks like this is over. It's done. It's done. You trusted your inner voice. It always guides you correctly. And you called judgment on this. 
trust the judgment. They don't know what to do about your acceptance. You've been accepted. You're, you're, you're seen um, as somebody who overcame significant challenges. And you're happy. You did so being happy, being peace. You were peaceful. You maintained your happiness. You listened to your inner voice. You were connected to source. You trusted it. You, you continued to love. You continued to work on your inner balance and harmony. And you were focused on those relationships that are for the higher good. And you cared about them sig significantly while you were undergoing all of this and persevering these challenges. These um, denial. Somebody's in denial about their fear. Or maybe they're in fear because they've been denied. They've received a denial. And they're in regret. Because who they came after was a limitless abundant being and their purpose. They wanted to be you. They came after you and your energy, your gifts, your personality, your identity, your status, your purpose. And they failed. And now they want forgiveness. This friend wants forgiveness. Feeling guilty. You possess gifts of the soul that benefit yourself and others. You honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. You're concerned about your health and you focus on that. You're very courageous. You're very patient. All things in divine order. And you have gained your freedom here. And they're worried about it. They're worried because now they have to walk through. They have to walk the walk that they made you walk. And they know how hard it is. They watched every minute of it. They gave you exactly what they considered. Um, everything that they thought would crush you. They knew would crush them. And now they have to walk it. I hope that this brought some clarification to something you already intuitively knew. And I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye.